Hey guys, it's John again with our Star Trek Bali Pinball Machine. Uh, today we're going to talk about the I2C communication, which is probably the most important part of this little project we've got going on here. So, what we have, I'll uh, show you our little prototype circuit. We've got the uh, Raspberry Pi there, and here we've got the most important pins. We have, try and get it to where y'all can see it, the SDA and the SCL pins. So, if you don't know about I2C communication, uh, why we chose to go with this is you can have <coughs> several slave devices talking to a master device only using two wires. So, that's pretty ideal for us because we're going to have a lot of inputs and outputs for a pinball machine as you can imagine. So yeah, here are our MCP-23017 chips and you can see the orange and yellow wire connecting to the chip and I'll, uh, I'll post the, uh, a link to the data sheet for this chip on the video. So I'll just get right into it. I already have it hooked up here and what we're going to do is this side of wires here are our inputs, and this side of wires here are our outputs. So whenever we connect a wire with 3.3 volts, look at that, we get a light going. All right, if we do a different wire, we get a different light going. Also, the most important part, looky there, the Raspberry Pi knows which switch was press and which LED it needs to light. So, this is going to let us, like I said in the last video, hook these up to the bumpers and the ball release, and it'll know when it, whenever each bumper is hit and which transistor it needs to activate. Um, I will post the circuit diagram to this and a really useful how-to uh, tutorial on using the MCP chips on the video. So uh, if you all have any questions, just comment or email us. And looking forward to talking to you all again. See ya.